Hey guys, Cece here and um, I don't know, I want to start doing some vlogging so I thought now was a perfect time as any. Me and my husband are on our way to Detroit, well we will be on our way to Detroit in about an hour. I'm going to leave out of the house and go get them. We have a road trip to go on, it's like a little almost three hour drive. I have a work trip that I need to go on, y'all my forehead looks so big. But anyway, I have a little work trip that I need to go on and um, so he's just going to accompany me. So you guys are going to get to see, I don't know, us, um, I guess just interact in the car or whatever. I don't want to really mix my YouTube life with my work life. So you won't be seeing any of my coworkers or any of my work activities or anything like that. But me and my husband, when me and my husband go out at night or whatever, you will get to see that. And excuse how I look, y'all. Oh my God, you can tell I'm tired. I have barely had sleep in the last couple of days. So, um... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. So I'm excited to get back to vlogging. I really miss vlogging and I haven't had as much time as I would like to put into my channel lately. So it's really been kind of bringing me down as far as the whole YouTube thing because I just feel like I'm not giving what I was given before because of the demands of my job and the stress of my job. But I really love you guys and I really, really love filming and recording and interacting with you guys. So I thought maybe vlogging would be a better way for me to do that. So right now I'm trying to finish packing. That's what I'm doing right now. I need to be out of this house in about 40 minutes to go get my husband. So I'm going to finish packing my clothes and I'll talk to you all in a minute. It's literally a straight shot. It's like right off the freeway. right before you get to the or right after the Canadian border. We got about 40 minutes to walk. What up y'all? We are well it's about to be a dark vlog because it's nighttime but we are on our way to Detroit like I told you guys before. I kind of missed the whole ride. We got like 40 minutes to go. Which is fine because I'm not going to vlog for the whole 40 minutes. But, um, yeah, we are, again, on our way to Detroit. I have a work trip. And we're now in Michigan. Right there. So we ain't got Welcome to, to Pure Michigan. So we haven't got to Michigan. Okay, we're, we're there right now. So we are now in Michigan. And, uh, it has been a long day, a long night. My husband's never been to Michigan, so I have literally all day activities tomorrow. Um, and he's gonna go hang out and see what Detroit has to offer. Go look around, drive around the city. I forget you guys all kind of loud. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Why you look so stressed out because I said that? Because I feel like I'm being yelling, like I gotta yell to talk. She didn't talk so they can hear you. Like I said, I'm, that's a different flux of voice than normal. So that's like yelling. It's another, it's a higher volume of voice. It's like yelling. Okay. Raising your voice. All right. It's the stuff that I tell you when we talk. I'm like, don't raise your voice. At me. Don't yell at me. Because raising, that's all, that's all raising your voice is. Yelling is raising your voice. Okay. So, so it's like, I'm loud. Yeah, I'm just sitting here editing videos while he's driving, trying to get some videos up for y'all. Um, I actually just posted a Black Friday haul, my part one, and then I recorded my part two. You was you guys, cussing a lot of that. Because I was pissed. Okay, you don't need to cuss like that though. I'm just saying, you was cussing a lot of that. But, yeah, so my Black Friday haul part one went up today. Part two will be up um, sometime next week. I don't know. Whenever I get a chance to go ahead and, and edit it, yeah, and get you it gonna up. Be watching your videos, do you? I know you watch them. Yeah. How you know I watch them? How you do? You ain't know I be watching your videos. Support me. But um, so if you guys haven't seen my my haul video, like he just said, it's. There's a few choice words in that video because I'm irritated about what happened. There was a lot of drama surrounding it. So if you haven't seen it, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it in this video. Um, and if this camera is like sliding all over the place, sorry. I don't know where my little car mount thing is. I'm gonna have to go buy another one. That thing been broke, I told you. But I broke it so the camera can fit on it. Yeah, but then it stopped sticking to the car. Well, 
Yeah. It was sliding all around the truck. Well, I'm buying that one. And then I threw it in the trash. Oh, so you did throw it away? I believe so, because it kept falling off the thing. Well, I'm going to go buy another one. Of and, course. And uh, we'll have a good, uh, another car mount. But for now, I'm using a mouse pad. It's a little makeshift, but whatever. Why is it turning?
So I've been is this a Yeah. So I've been juicing all week, y'all. Well actually we've been juicing all week and it's been working out really well. I have lost four pounds since Sunday. It's only Thursday. I've lost four pounds since Sunday and I am I just feel a lot better and I feel like I can see it and I can feel the weight loss. So I am gonna continue it. I'm not sure. What? That's the truck lane. I'm sorry. Go ahead and talk. I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna juice while I'm on this work trip, obviously. I think that's unrealistic. Unrealistic and that's the reason what is wrong with you. <clears throat> I think that's unrealistic and that's the reason why a lot of times I know my diet in particular fail. So I'm not gonna juice while I'm here. I'm just gonna eat normally. But when we get back, um start Sunday morning. I'm definitely going to get back on my juice thing and, and continue this, this weight loss trend because I really, really want to lose some weight. We're going to Cancun in February and I have to lose some weight. Like I want to look good in all of my bathing suits. So I'm really excited. So I will keep y'all posted about my weight loss journey. How did your week go, Juicy? It was cool.
into that store if you use that card you get cash back so when we were shopping on black friday like dicks had like six percent cash back sephora had cash in-store cash back and i made sure i used my debit card got cash back it's that simple so click on ebay they also give you a 25 dollars gift card just for um signing up and spending your first 25 dollars so what do you do with your money when you get it since it doesn't go to the account? Buy more makeup. That's what you want to hear? So you don't put the money into our account? No, I don't. So you just spend it? Yes, I do. Any other questions? I'm the one get, uh, doing all the work to get the money. You ain't doing all no work to get no money. That's our money. I'm doing all the work buying all the stuff. You wouldn't go to eBay. <laughs> you doing all the work buying all the stuff. Where's the money coming from to buy all this stuff? You wouldn't stuff? go to eBay. Where is you getting the money to buy all this stuff? I get up and go to work every day. Oh. The only way you get income, huh? Yeah. Damn, shit. Stealing right up under my nose. Shit, man. I loved you, Hannah, man. I'd give you hips if I could. Are you right done? I'm just saying. Still, I'm right from under my nose. It was time. We should probably put this in the GPS. I, it's in the GPS. You told me it was right off the freeway, and I got the radio down. It is right off the freeway. You just wait. When you see Canada size, that means we getting close. Pause I just said I hit pause on this thing. Why does it keep coming back up? I don't know. I hit pause, watch this. Okay, turn it in. I got the volume up the radio cut back on, that's crazy. This car has got a brain of its own. Hello. We finally made it. Oh, no I didn't. <laughs> we finally made it to our hotel. We ran into, who was this? We ran into a bunch of accidents and the roads got slippery because Michigan y'all got some snow. And um, there was just a long line to check in of other people coming for the same little program that I'm coming. So um, I'm coming for it. So um, we finally made it to our hotel room and I'm about to. Okay. We finally made it to our hotel room, so now um, we're just kind of sitting and chilling until I hear from, I came with a team of people, well I didn't come with a team of people, but I'm meeting my work team here, so um, I'm just kind of chilling and waiting on them to finish what they're doing, and then we'll probably meet up with them for some dinner and some drinks, and shut up. And that's about it. That's really about it. So um, the ride, like I said, besides the accidents and everything was pretty smooth. Um, I'm like really tired, which I already told you guys and you could, I'm sure tell. So I was like dozing off, but I got some videos edited and um, yeah, talk to y'all later. Hey you guys, so as you can see behind me, look at all that mess. We are finally home from Detroit. Um, I didn't feel like vlogging on the ride. I don't know, just because I just didn't feel like it. So I'm vlogging again now and I got home and I'm unboxing some stuff because some stuff came while I was gone. So I want to show you guys some things that I got. I'm new to this vlogging thing, so if it's a little shaky, I'm sorry, but I just want to show you guys some of the items that I got. This is still items coming in from my Black Friday, Cyber Monday um, online order fiasco. So these are still items coming through, and I'm just going to show you guys on this vlog since I'm not going to do another haul with it. Um, I've already done two huge Black Friday, Cyber Monday hauls, so if you haven't seen those, definitely check them out. But I'm just going to show you guys on this vlog, and I've also done them on Snapchat as promised, so make sure y'all following me on snapchat but let me get into what i got and excuse me i know i look crazy all right guys so here are just some of the items that i got excuse my messy vanity it's awful but i'll just go through some of the items that i grabbed i got the city color flawless natural loose brightening powder and excuse my nails y'all they're about four weeks overdue chipping and everything but i'm going to get them done but this is the brightening powder, um, loose powder from City Color. 
I got their natural shadow palettes. So that's how that looks. What else from City Color? This is the City Chic Lip Liner in the color Scarlet. I got a lipstick. This one is in Lydia. Their B Matte lipstick. I got their Photo Chic Foundation. This is the Demi Matte Finish and it is in the color Toffee. I also grabbed another foundation from them. This is the Flawless Finish 3-in-1 Primer Concealer and Foundation. I think it's a tad bit light for me, but we'll see. I got it in the color Tan. And then I also grabbed, I think this is new on their site. This is the Beauty Blending Sponge. The perf perfect for blending or application. This is a blending sponge, sort of like the Beauty Blender from City Color. So that was really, really cheap. And then I grabbed some things from Ofra also. Oh, what I'm most excited about is this of course I drop it so what I'm most excited about is this beautiful highlighter here this is in the shade blissful and here's a swatch of it how cute is that it's such a nice gold it also came with this vitamin C cream I have no idea what vitamin C cream is or what it does but it came with that the set also came with two liquid lipsticks. The red one is Atlantic City and the like gold, gold glittery one. What does that say? Versilis, Versilis. Look. What, what are you doing with that? It, it, it's a cookie pack. A cookie pack? No, it's a cookie. Those are not cookies. What is it? Granola bars. Mom didn't know the bar. I know. Can I know the bar, please? Can I know the bar, please? Uh, Raya, I borrow Raya, me. One for Raya and one for you? Yeah. Here come the other one. Raya. What you want? Um, I got Raya. Fruit snacks? Yeah. Yeah. You don't eat no fruit snacks. Yeah. It's granola bar. Granola bar? Yeah, granola bar. Mommy, what? Granola bar is Loretta. What? Loretta. Loretta? No, I'm a polar bear. A polar bear? Yeah. Polar bears eat granola bars? No, polar bears eat fruit snacks. Mom. Polar bears eat fruit snacks? Yeah. So it's when? Cookie. Go take this in the kitchen. Okay, kitchen. Kitchen. At your table. But don't step on my stuff. Careful. I'm coming, Bing Bing. Hold on. Okay. Here, kitchen. Go sit at your table. Don't step on my stuff. Careful. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, so back to our regularly scheduled programming. Oh, from City Color, I also got this loose glitter. This is the Sparkle and Shine Loose Glitter in... What is this in? It won't, there it is, tis the season. It won't, um, I don't know. <sighs> but that's it. It also came with this little makeup bag too, which I'll probably give away or throw away or something. But yeah, that's what came in. I also got some storage in too. So as you can see here, I got in this little palette holder right here. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to set it up, but I ordered this from Amazon and it came from By Allegory and they have really good acrylic storage. So I ordered this palette holder and you just kind of set your palettes inside of it like that. And these trays are removable in case you have thicker palettes that you want to put in there. You can remove the little dividers. So I thought that was really, really cool. And then I also got in this other palette holder back here as well. Let me zoom out. I got this other one in as well that I've kind of put some of my stuff in. So my Hugo Beauty palette, my homemade like MAC shadow palette, and Kat Von D contour shades and highlight shades in there. And then the Morphe palettes back here. So I'm still trying to figure out how I want to put those. But that is what I got in so far. And have I shown you guys my original beauty box? This is my original beauty box. 
I think I put a picture of it in my um, haul, but if I didn't, this is my original beauty box and this thing is awesome. Like I just have some lashes at the top. All of my concealers fit in here. I have a bunch of concealers. If you guys haven't seen my declutter video, they all fit in there. And then I just have like some of my everyday items over here. And ooh, I have the foundation that I'm trying to use this month as well as, sorry I'm so shaky, but the foundation I'm trying to use this month. So some of the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation. I have the Too Faced Born This Way in there. The Anastasia Stick Foundations, which I love. And then I also have just some bronzers and highlighters and, um, and blushes that I'm using this month. So a Too Faced bronzer, Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, NARS blush, Bobbi Brown highlighter, Urban Decay blush, this um, Gerard Cosmetics BB Plus Illumination. I got some ColourPop in there. So there's some stuff like that. And I just love this original beauty box because it fits so much stuff. I can't even open the bottom. But I don't know what to do with my other acrylic storage. As you can see, it's pretty empty. So I have to figure out what I want to put in that one still. And then I have some more acrylic storage over here. So this is like a little dirty vanity overview. This is my new mirror from Impressions Vanity, which is dirty right there. But I really like that too. I just need to clean up today. I just got back. Y'all, I'm going to give y'all a glimpse of my dirty room. This is my beauty room. It's so dirty. But, and then this is kind of like my filming setup. So, yeah. But yeah, you guys, so that's it today. Um, nothing too much on the agenda. Well, it is kind of something on the agenda. I will be getting ready because we are going to a Cavs game. So we're going to the basketball game. I actually, my job, he owns, the person who owns the Cavs also owns the casino that I work at. So um, we all often get tickets from time to time. And so my boss nominated me for some tickets. So I am going, we're going to be sitting in the owner's box and it's going to be super fun. My husband's coming too and some of my coworkers will be there. So I'll try to vlog a little bit while I'm there, but I don't want to put my coworkers on camera just because I'm trying to keep everything separate like I told you guys. So I'll try to vlog a little bit while I'm there, but I need to find an outfit to wear and I also need to obviously glam up because I can't go like this. So I'll try to do some like outfit of the night pics and stuff like that and yeah i'll talk to y'all later bye was trying to get me on camera Ooh. look how good I look. I think they was trying to get me on camera because they got me right up in the mix I'm looking good there's Jeff from slots yeah what's up y'all so I'm waiting on my husband to get back into the car we are on our way to a bar or something just got back from the Cavs game it was so cool we said courtside I try to put a couple pictures in here or something like that so you guys can see um I was just hanging out but it was so much fun I've never sat courtside before so the first half we got to sit courtside and the second half we sat in the owner suite so the actual owner of the Cavaliers we got to sit in his suite and it was myself my husband and um, a few of my co-workers there and it was just it was so much fun. It was such a fun experience. So I hope I get to do that again and again. I am absolutely loving my new job. I think I told you guys this yesterday, but you know, we went to Detroit this weekend because of my job and we actually got to sit and listen to the owner of the Cavaliers who also owns the casino that I work at. We actually got to sit and listen to him talk for <laughs> excuse me, sit and listen to him talk all day and he stayed with us all day and just um gave us motivation and went over like the company culture and all of that and it was absolutely phenomenal so he's actually a really great speaker so if you ever get a chance to hear dan gilbert speak he's actually really great but um yeah we're about to go to a bar or something kick it a little bit i don't know um just hang out and enjoy each other 
it's um, Saturday night, so you know the weekend's pretty much over after tonight. Tomorrow we'll be getting ready for the week, getting ready for the work week type thing. And spending time with our children. I'm gonna get up, um, go to church in the morning, and we're gonna spend some time with our kids. I just, I missed my baby so much. I feel like we haven't spent any time with them since we went to Detroit and now we just like came home. By the time we got home, we had like an hour and a half to spend with them and then it was time to go to the Cavs game. So we haven't really spent much time with our children in the last couple of days. So I'm definitely gonna spend some time with them tomorrow. And I'm also gonna get back on my juicing tomorrow. I lost like four pounds. I probably gained it all back in the last few days from eating. So I'm going to get back on my juicing tomorrow and um, hopefully continue this weight loss. I'm going to get back on my heavy working out. Um, so I'll definitely keep you guys posted on that as far as my fitness journey goes. But yeah, I think that's it. My foundation looks so good tonight i use the urban decay all nighter foundation i just absolutely love that foundation it's so amazing it literally makes my skin like poreless it makes my skin like poreless i don't know how they do it or how they did it with that foundation but it is just gorgeous and this hair this is a lace front wig as i have been wearing lately but you guys know this is a lace front wig from where is this from hmm. i think sister wigs the lace front wig from sister wigs and this is in the style rosalie rosalie or rosalie and i believe it's by the brand sensational but i got that from sister wigs and i really really like it i enjoy the color just something a little different i plucked the part if you guys can see that Pluck the part put a little concealer on it and it looks just super great this wig was like 20 bucks so very inexpensive and affordable and i love it yeah i'm just i'm sitting in my driveway by the way waiting on my husband to come out of the house he stopped home to oh there he is he stopped home so he could use the bathroom. But uh, he getting back in the car, so I'll see y'all later.